everyone, it is Monday morning and thankfully for this morning it's not quite as cold as it was over the weekend. Around about 8 degrees this morning when I did the school run so not too bad at all. Now I'm all shaved, I'm all sort of brushed up and ready to do recording today. Uh, Monday is normally a recording day for me, in fact pretty much every day is a recording day because I record these personal videos for you. But this uh, particular day I'm actually recording a few more of the Christmas Advent videos and also I'm doing some camera tests and a review. Now I'm recording this particular video on the Sony RX100 Mark II and I've used that for about a month now so I'm going to do my full review of that particular camera. And then I've also got two new Sony cameras in so I'm going to be doing some HD video tests with those as well. So a pretty full on day. I'm going to edit yesterday's video and then get on with those tests. So it's coming up to 11 o'clock, time for some 11s, a nice cup of tea and some biscuits, best thing to do at this sort of time of day. I finished my recording, I'm just uploading uh, today's video for you, and I just want to show you this. I've added some Christmas colour just down there, you see it? Now, the Incipio Feather range of cases, uh, I've always used some sort of case on my MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. This is my 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro and I've added some Christmas colour to it. This really nice green colour, it really is fantastic. It actually looks a little bit greener in the sort of, uh, sort of the naked eye than it is showing on the video. And it is a superb fit. Now I had one of these on my MacBook Pro before and it didn't quite open properly or it seemed to restrict the angle of the screen. This one is perfect, so I really do like it. And it's got like a, a soft touch finish to it really really awesome case now i always believe in really looking after my laptops and the reason that i believe in that is because it increases the resale value for a start so when i come to change this in maybe two or three years time it won't have any marks on it and also it just protects it and, and i believe in really looking after my technology and this adds to like the texture as well. I really do like that soft touch feel on that one. It's the Incipio Feather, and I will leave a link to this particular case in the video description. Well, that was a busy day, and I got so busy that I didn't uh, even get a chance to pick up the camera again and um, to record again. It's just uh, amazing how busy I get. So, um, but good, good to, good to be busy. Don't uh, take that the wrong way. I would much rather be busy and not know where time's gone than to not be busy and for the day to drag on. Yeah, you get what I'm, where I'm coming from? I, I hope you do. But anyway, I, I'm babbling already, probably because I'm tired. Today I ended up taking out two of the Sony cameras, the RX10 and also the HDR MV1 that you will see unboxed on the channel over the next couple of days. I actually took those out to get some outdoor footage for the uh, HD video test. I ended up taking them down to the harbour area where I do a lot of my video tests. And um, yeah, that was really good. But I'll, I'll tell you something that happened. Oh my goodness. It was so, so close as well. <clears throat> now imagine uh, in the UK, so I'll, I'll explain just in case you're not in the UK but we sit on the right hand side of the car and we drive on the left hand side of the road. So I'm sitting on the right hand side in my Mini and um, I pull up on a one way street and I park with my door, my, my driver's door closest to the pavement and on the pavement there's also some scaffolding uh, up against one, a building at the side of the street and I just parked up to get out with the cameras, opened the door, and I don't know what made me, but I opened the door very slightly and then let it come back in again. And as I did it, this bike appeared down the side, going so, so fast along the pavement, and he put his brakes on, he almost went over the handlebars, but he just sort of saved himself and sort of held onto the bonnet of the car. Now, I was parked, I was also opening to get out onto a pavement which is meant for walking on so I, I don't think it was my fault uh, but I was so so thankful that he didn't actually go over the handlebars that would have been terrible because even though I still don't think it was my fault 
I would have felt so guilty if somebody had got hurt. So I'm just really, really thankful that he managed to control the bike, sort of stay on the bike and save himself. Um, I apologised, he, he rode off and then I went on with the cam camera test. But yeah, it was a very, very uh, sort of close thing. So that's what uh, sort of happened this afternoon. And now I've just cooked, had something to eat and the rest of the evening is... Can you guess what? Can you guess what I'm going to watch? No, it is not I'm a celebrity get me out of here tonight, although I will watch a little bit tonight. It's the Gadget Show, it's their Christmas special, so I'm really looking forward to watching that with my evil twin, or no, not so evil twin, Jason Bradbury, and, um, and the rest of the team. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I shall leave it there, I think, because I'm extremely tired. So thank you very much for watching my video thank you also for all of the comments you leave in my personal videos and in my daily tech videos as well i really do appreciate it if you can hit like on this one i would be very very thankful and i'll see you all again in tomorrow's video